Hello everybody and welcome back to Rule the Waves 2 Italy. We have finally, finally, beaten France in a war and gotten land. We've gotten rightful Italian clay. Now we didn't get the rightful rightful Italian clay, which would be Tunisia and Corsica. But, either way, we did get parts of China, of southern China and we now have eastern we have now have east uh Italian East Africa as a colony like totally uh so that's good I've been thinking I've spent a lot of time after last episode kind of looking at my load out here and we have just a whole bunch of out of date destroyers and uh, our seaplane carrier is showing its age a lot uh, our heavy cruisers and light cruiser forces are showing their ages a lot I mean this one's doing pretty well for itself but it's still pretty old the Giuseppes are kind of just holding down the Indian Ocean area and the Northeast Asia area and all of our battleships are very old. So here's what I'm thinking. We're getting rid of the Primark. We are scrapping her. That has been scrapped. We're building up a new battle cruiser. We're finishing these things off and then we are going to be rebuilding our primary force with a modern twist. And hopefully, if we can actually do it, I, I would like to have catapults. If we could if we could research catapults, that would be really, really helpful. But we don't have that right now, so we'll just have to wait and see. But let's go ahead and move on to the next turn. Communist coup is taking place in Russia. Who saw that coming? So they're communist. That's a really bad naval ensign. Uh, advanced weight savings. Okay. Two more turns for the third Crimson Asar light carrier to come out. Top Spy managed to find data on a French dive bomber, which we don't have access to dive bombers yet. Uh, one 300 pound bomb. That's pretty big, actually. Uh, quality one 16 inch guns are pretty good. New fighters ready for operational service. That's great. So we are going to go ahead and go to aircraft types and we are going to obsolete the old AC-80D, which was commissioned eight years ago, or which was which came into uh, use eight years ago uh, and is now outstripped by the uh, Peggio P-105. So we are obsoleting this. What else is a really old one? Our flying boat's pretty old, but it's still usable. So we'll go ahead and let that go. Alright, one more turn for our new aircraft carrier, light aircraft carrier. Uh, been caught in France, make him a national hero. Yep. Okay, increased torpedo range and speed, that's good. Russian torpedo bomber, the... Uh, the LA-27 entering service. We're going to be faster than our torpedo bombers. Speed isn't everything. Okay, our subs are doing fine. We don't have any building, actually. Okay, there's our third aircraft carrier. Okay, voice radio. Signaling errors are less likely. That's good. Lower risk of... Uh, so... Uh, so improved landing guidance systems. Lowers risk of landing accidents. That's really nice. Austrian Torpedo Bomber, the Lloyd 40 is entering service. We're going to be faster than our Torpedo Bomber. Okay. Alright, so we're getting 2,000 a turn. we got 10 months for our new battle cruiser to come out. Let's look at this. Let's see. Can we build a new battle cruiser that's better than the one we have right now? Okay. 16 inch guns. It goes 29 knots. 36 months to build. Good secondary armament, good tertiary armament. We don't have... Yeah, we don't have catapults, so we can't put, like, float planes on this thing. I don't like the all-forward armament, actually. Can we get something else? 
or we stuck with the all forward armament for pre-generated because they uh because that's what we have that's what we have okay uh it's not bad 36 months four thousand a month kind of like the idea of going to maybe 15 inch guns 15 inch guns on our battle cruisers and we got 30 speed we've got a whole bunch of spare weight and we could put that into other things we don't have a higher torpedo defense rating yet oil's good we could colonial service and then long range maybe yeah, long-range colonial service. So these things can be deployed elsewhere. Well, no, that's the thing. I don't, I don't think they're gonna need. We, I, I like the idea of our light cruisers and heavy cruisers being for that. So these would just be used for our main battle fleet. So we can actually decrease the weight a, a bit on this thing. Maybe shave a month off of its build time, which would be nice. We could go ahead and maybe use that extra 400 to just put a little bit of extra armor on there. Turrets topped 5 inches. We get anything else. Deck armor to 5.5. No, that'd be very expensive, actually. Deck extended to a half inch. Nope. Five and a half, nope. Secondaries to three inches, maybe? I think that's good. Or maybe we could go back to two and a half and we could get an extra bit of ammo. Bringing you to four and a half. Yeah, 95 rounds per gun. It's pretty good because that's every that's per gun, and there are three guns on a turret, so ninety-five rounds per, uh, times three for every turret. I'm good with that. All right, yeah, we'll go with that. Save you. Costs a lot, four months to develop them. Not bad. All right, next turn. Internal upheaval in Mozambique. If we send an expeditionary force, yes, send a force. France acted faster than we were. Mozambique is now under their control. Fucking god damn it. So now they have another base in the Indian Ocean. They were closer, but that doesn't mean I don't despise them for it. Uh, let's see here. We could build a couple of 600 ton Corvettes and send them out to our overseas territories and kind of give us a little bit extra there so why don't we go ahead and put down I don't know 10 of them just put down 10 of them have them come up and then we'll send them off to we'll split them off 5 and 5 for Southeast Asia and Northeast Asia threat from France the Hawk Party manages to pass a bill authorizing additional funding for the Navy that's good Fiat companies develop a flying boat as a private venture. Uh, its range is less, speeds a little bit more, toughness is. Eh. It's got better bombs, but really, we don't use it for bombing. So yeah, no, we need better range overall, and we did, our flying boat has a really good range. And its toughness isn't even increased, and its firepower is better. So yeah, cancel that. No, we're not we're not taking the private ventured one. Okay, a lot of new money coming in. France has gone up to 11. It's turned it up to 11. All the way up. Okay. New light carriers up to full. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Buy that. Give us more money. Okay, build screen. New battle cruiser. Two of them. We'll halt one, and the other one will keep going. 
Yeah, and that'll be good for us. Next turn, docks completed. Aviation pundits are ecstatic about the new aircraft type, medium bomber. So does that mean if we go to aircraft type, can we propose new aircraft medium bombers with a uh, bomb load and range? Yeah, okay, so we'll do that. We'll see if we can get a better medium bomber than what we have right now. Uh, oh, by the way, I didn't check. Our new fighter has average reliability. That's good. So, it's, I mean, it's better than the float plane, torpedo bombers, and flying boats that we have. Uh, but those are pretty old designs that are being, like, retrofitted every couple of years. Uh, turbo electric drive. Non-flammable materials. That's good for damage control improvement. Okay, one more month. Uh, let's go ahead and halt this one. British government's offering to sell us the rights to decapping belt. Don't have the money for that. Okay, Fiat companies developed the float plane scout as a private venture. Let's see if it's better than the one we have. It's got better range. Cruising speed's a little less. Speed's less, but its range is better. Toughness is better, maneuver is better, firepower is the same, heavier bomb load. Don't know its reliability, though. We'll go ahead and we'll we'll take that. The the Fiat G109. So it's it's better than their older ones, so I guess uh, you know, it's it's about four years. Uh the old one's about four years old at this point. Yeah, I can see the new one. We'll go we'll go with the new one. Alright, one more month. Let's pause this other battle cruiser. Get some more money. Alright. Going. Enables K guns. That's good. That uh, that's basically those depth charge launchers are now avail uh, available to us. Improved dive bombers, that's good. Can we get dive bombers at all? Would actually be really nice. Uh, and one more month for our new battle cruiser will we start production on you. There we go. Advances in lighter than air. Airships are more reliable. Okay, we don't really need it. Unexpected problems have delayed the development of our new float plane, the Fiat G109. Okay. It'll come out as when it comes out. It'll be out when it's out, guys. All right. A couple more months and we can start production of this other battle cruiser again. All right. It's 1930. Let's also start building up our docks again. How are the French doing? Huh, with our new battle cruiser, we'll actually be somewhat similar to them. They have really older. They have really old battle cruisers, it looks like. They're going heavy on their lights. So we might be able to beat the French in a war straight up pretty soon. So that's good. All right, next turn. Okay, seven Corvettes. New medium bomber, bomber prototypes ready for evaluation. Our current one is the SM-101B. So speed's a lot more on these new ones. Cruising speed's a lot more. Range is a lot better on all of these. Firepower is the same. Maneuverability is the same except for one. Toughness is better on all of them. Better light bomb loads, better medium. Not as good heavy bomb loads. So let's think about this. Toughness is pretty good. We gain a lot of range for all of our load types. Almost 100 nautical miles for a heavy load. And oh no, we actually, our heavy bomb load's even better. I didn't notice it's two 1,400 pound bombs instead of one 1,600 pound bomb. So this is much better. So the uh, uh, the Brenda BA-13 uh, is pretty good. I like that toughness. We're going to go with the BA-113 as our new medium bomber. 
Can we request dive bombers yet? That, that would be something I would like uh, dive bombers to have bomb load and maneuverability to be priorities. Nope. Almost, guys. Almost. Uh, we're going to... Well, you're still in development. Once you're ready, then we'll obsolete the older design. I'm going to go ahead and resume construction on this battle cruiser. Okay, finished her working up. Three more corvettes into the Navy. Two destroyers commissioned into the Navy. That's great. Okay, so of these new corvettes, because we have ten of them, I want five of you to go to Northeast Asia. So we're doing that. And the rest of you to go to Southeast Asia. And you're doing that. So that will be great. We'll be deployed out that way. Let's double check. What are the French destroyers? Uh, they're getting up there. They're going to outstrip us pretty soon. Corvettes. Ours are actually getting up there as well in terms of uh, outstripping them. Still have better subs. And our naval aviation is getting to the point where we're uh, ahead of them. But that has something to do with the fact that our uh, bases, that we, we have more airstrips, I'm going to assume. Uh, and by the way, we're going to go ahead and increase the Poussin airbase. Make that a bit bigger. <sighs> Not used to the, uh, so the Soviet Russia. Because they are, you know, General Secretary Communist... Development backwards, undeveloped shipbuilding industry. They have a much bigger dock size than us. Everyone has a much bigger dock size than us. Almost an extra 10,000 in all cases. Yeah. All right. Well, let's go to the next turn. Austria should be interested in buying the rights to the synthetic fire control computer, by all means. Go ahead with that. Improves invasion capability. That's good. I'm thinking about going ahead and refitting some of these older designs. So if we uh, open design for rebuild, we can get improved director firing on you. Director firing for secondaries. Better 4-inch guns. 5-inch guns are the same. 13-inch guns we can get improvement on. That's good. That's good. We can get some anti-aircraft mounts going. 20 guns. 20 light anti-aircraft guns. Can we get... No, we can get some AA directors. One AA director. Oh, we can also... Hmm. I mean, we're already going to be spending a lot. We're eight months in the, the yards, so if we replace machinery, it's 12 months in the yards, and we can go ahead and get oil fire engines on there and increased elevation there. Can't do better torpedo defense, but that's not that bad. 3,000 a month for 12 months, but we then get better 13-inch guns. Rebuilds, uh... What can we do for you? 17 inch guns and 12 or 3 10 inchers. 19 inch in a single. Okay. Yeah. Well, either way. Yeah, we can't do that. So we got an extra 500 tons. We can go ahead and just plop some extra speed on here. Keep that to 12 months. Increase the ammunition supply for the guns a little bit. And yeah, the Sicily class is now modernized. I mean, that's not that bad. That's in, that's better 13-inch quality. That's better guns for their secondaries and primaries. More ammo for their guns. Better fire control for both of them. Increased elevation, which will increase their range. Uh, Anti-aircraft mounts now available. And we get an extra two knots of speed off them. And their oil firing, should it, which should increase their reliability. That's not bad. We'll go ahead and save that. 
Yeah. Save that. 1930 refit. And we'll go ahead and rebuild the Sicily class. Which cost us a lot of money, but I think it will be worth it. So next month. New destroyer comes in. Battleship Scare. Okay. Increase funding to the Navy. That's good. That'll give us an extra couple of months at full build with our battlecruisers and refitted battleship. Uh, the French are building a new battleship. That's something. And they're building their first carrier. That's something as well. Okay. Uh, don't need, don't care about French Corvettes. Enables three and four inch twin DP mounts. That's interesting. New float plane. Testing shows it can carry less bomb load than projected. Ugh. What's it carrying now? 250 and 500, so it just, it matches the old one. Okay. Well, we're going to obsolete the old one. Now the Fiat 109 is our, G109 is now our current float plane, so we'll re retrofit the whole Navy, our whole Naval Force. Uh... Increase tensions with the UK just a little bit. It should increase our funding just a tad. We got one more month of full build time. Internal people in Greece, apparently sending a force, send an ultimatum, demand they back down. Yes. Back down now. I know this is, we're going to war with France again, apparently. Apparently we can't stop it. We can't stop them from going to war with us. Okay. They back down. Holy shit. Halt construction of you, just so we save some money. We'll build up a bit more. And our tensions went down with them as well, but they did not get grease. That is, that is rightful Italian clay. Uh, Digner is, uh, has been assassinated by a group of anarchists supported by France. Budget. Uh. No. Stat this crisis could well escalate. Yeah. Let's not start a war immediately. Increases submarine effectiveness is good. Increases air aircraft capacity for carriers. That's good. Our new medium bomber is an operational service. That's good. So new medium bomber and operational service. So we will we will obsolete the old one. Okay, two thousand a month we're getting now. Can't do anything else really. Yeah, we need new care. We need new cruiser designs to replace our older ones. Need new battleship designs. France and the USA have signed a... Ooh. Nor Russian torpedo bomber. Weight savings on hull. Okay. We're getting hemmed in here by a couple of different powers. We need to get our uh, ally... We need to get our alliance backs. Or get, bleh, get some alliances back with us. Uh, Airbase Busan. No. We will go ahead and the Pusan Air Base. We're going to go ahead. We need a torp. We need a medium bomber. Add air unit. We need a medium bomber. 15 medium bombers. Change number 10. Not 108, 10. Torpedo bombers. Change number 10. Flying boat, change number five. That's good. Okay, five more months for the rebuild of the Sicily. Hopefully by that time we'll have enough spare cash that we can go ahead and develop a new Dreadnought class. Which would be very helpful for us. New docks completed. Selling us the rights to improved hydrophones. Yep, go ahead, we'll buy that. Increase the anti-sub warfare capability. Five-year agreement between us. Yes, we'll go ahead and enter that agreement. 
Okay, and France and Italy and the United States and Germany were all at war with each other now. So cruiser battle. We're going to decline that. Convoy attack. Large for a convoy attack. Uh, we're going to decline that. Okay, Germany's with us at least. God damn it. Okay, all of you in the med. Go to trade protection. Yes. Trade protection. Yes. All of you in Northeast Asia. Trade protection. Yes. And all but one of you in Southeast Asia. Trade protection. Yes. And then one more in trade protection. There we go. So we got that going for us. We can accelerate construction for you. Get you out there quickly. Subs, we're still beating them, I think. Go to Unstricted Warfare. We're still beating them in subs, yes. U.S. is there. Okay. So we're actually equal in terms of amount of destroyers, but they have much more modern destroyers because we decimated their force before. Okay. So that's a problem. Well, Germany exists now in our alliance, and they're there, so that's good. They have a very large force. Don't they have a very large force as well when it comes to... Like, they've got good... Dreadnoughts, good battle cruisers, a couple of heavy cruisers, a couple of light cruisers, some good destroyers, not a lot of corvettes, a few subs, and quite a few naval aviation. Yeah, us and France are like a, we're combating each other with naval aviation. We're just like, you know, back and forth, back and forth. <sighs> it seems we don't, we can't get away from France. They just, they keep wanting to fight us until we, until we destroy their main combat force, their dreadnoughts and bat and battle cruisers. I don't think they're going to stop, but either way, we got to stop this episode because that's going to be the end of it as we are over time. So thank you for joining me for this episode. If you liked it, please leave a comment down below as I hit that like button. If you want to support the channel, consider the subscribe button down below as well as take a look at the description down below where I have links to my discord and my Patreon page. But I'll see all of you in the next episode. Bye.